I really like the fact that CSU has always seemed to be ranked within the top few universities in the country for atmospheric science research. And I think since it's just a graduate school department and doesn't have an undergraduate program, that it really can focus on the research. And I think that's part of what's made it top notch. Um, the teaching is good, and but the research is uh, a big focus. And some of the professors in this department are known worldwide. And that makes a big difference when you can say you've worked for a big name professor when you're trying to find a job as you leave here. Well, right now I'm working on a couple different projects. Um, I'm kind of our main um, weather forecast model developer, so I do a lot of programming and model improvement so and testing and that sort of thing to eventually use it in our operational forecast model um, for the future. And I also work on the southwest monsoon season, and we'll be, have been doing that for the past three years, and we'll continue on for the next three years doing simulations, um, computer simulations of the southwest monsoon to try to understand the dynamics of the system, the interannual variability in the monsoon, how that affects areas south of here, say in the deserts of Arizona, and how that can influence areas up here in Colorado, kind of further downstream um, from the source of the monsoon. We look a lot at the uh, surface conditions. We look at soil moisture variability, variability in the sea surface temperature, how that influences the monsoon and the large-scale circulation. So there are a lot of different areas to pull from to understand how the monsoon works, and we're going to continue to um, pursue that for the next three years, looking in more depth and at higher resolution in our computer simulations. Now that computer power is getting better and better, we can do higher and higher resolution simulations and improve our forecasts of the monsoon. Well, to be honest, one of the driving factors in my decision to apply here was the location. So there were two factors, the prestige of the school and the location. I love to ski and hike and snowshoe, and it's the perfect location for that. You've got Rocky Mountain National Park within an hour drive. You've got some great 14,000 foot mountains to hike within a few hours drive. And skiing is great. Fort Collins is a great city. It's, it's just the right size. It has all the things you need as a student or as just somebody wanting to live here and raise a family. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's great for people wanting to bike to work or run to work. And it's right there against the foothills. A lot of activities to do to give, take a break from the research. You know, a lot of things to do to kind of relax and enjoy the outdoors here.